thermal area energy management. It begins about 85,000 feet at uh, Mach 2.5. Concludes uh, two air data probes deployed, which provide additional uh, data on the uh, speed and approach of Endeavour to the Kennedy Space Center. Speed now 2,858 miles an hour. Just over Mach 4, altitude 20 miles, 123 miles to the landing site. Telling Commander Mark Kelly that he's uh, go to take uh, data from the air data probes. There are two deployable air data probes and four air to data transducer assemblies that provide information to computers and cockpit displays about the movement of the shuttle through the air mass. Probes are on the left and right sides of the forward portion of the lower fuselage. Speed now 1900 miles an hour, Mach 2.8, altitude 16.6 miles. 75 miles to the landing site. Mach 1.9, altitude 14 miles, range of the target uh, 69 miles. Butch Wilmore providing uh, Mark Kelly with an update on the weather. They always have a slight tailwind. He's about to make a 245 degree left hand turn to align with the uh, north to south runway at Kennedy Space Center, runway 1 5. Three good auxiliary power units providing hydraulic pressure for the air control system. Air data probes providing additional data using atmospheric pressure to the computers on board. to Kennedy Space Center in Florida. We're, receive, we're receiving good uh, heads-up display video. Again, this is a 
you have the uh, pilot, uh, Greg Johnson's head up display is, uh, Johnson now taking control of the stick uh, for a brief period. Altitude five and a half miles. Endeavor on at the 180. On at the 180. That call means that the uh, space shuttle is uh, on track at the 180 degree point in the heading alignment circle. All systems looking good. Altitude 23,000 feet. 13 miles to the landing site. Under 83 miles an hour. We're aiming for about 215 miles an hour for touchdown. Endeavor on at the 90. Copy on at the 90. As 90 degree point of the heading line of circle, the shuttle is uh, on course and on speed. One mile, 4,200 feet. Cross on the uh, three miles to the landing site. And there is the runway. After a journey of six and a half million miles, Endeavour landing in darkness, but illuminated by the ingenuity, dedication of every astronaut, scientist, engineer, flight controller, mechanic, and dreamer that helped it fly. The fleet's youngest ship completing its 122 millionth mile after its crew delivered an instrument to the International Space Station will sift through the cosmic darkness for years to come. And Endeavour will stop. 22 million miles flown during 25 challenging space flights. Your landing ends a vibrant legacy for this amazing vehicle that will long be remembered. Welcome home, Endeavor. Yeah, thank you, Houston. You know, the space shuttle is an amazing vehicle to fly through the atmosphere. Hit it at Mach 25. Uh, I mean, steer through the atmosphere like an airplane, land on the runway. It is really, really an incredible ship. On behalf of my entire crew, I want to thank every person that's worked for us to get this mission going and every person that's worked on Endeavor. Um, it's sad to see her land for the last time, uh, but she really has a great legacy. Great words. Thank you, Mark, and we will meet.
on 5-3. Endeavor touching down at Kennedy Space Center uh, on time at uh, 1.35 a.m. Central Time, 2.35 a.m. Eastern. Commander Mark Kelly guiding us to a uh, very gentle touchdown on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center shuttle landing facility. Thank you. 